Hey everyone, it's Johnny here from Movement Evolution. This is section two, knee and hip. So this is 90-90 hip internal rotation again, only from a different angle. If you feel like the 90-90 hip internal rotation is too tough, too difficult, or you're not feeling it necessarily in the internal rotation, um, take it to the wall, it's far easier, and all we need is a foam roller, and again, a hip that's not currently in any pain. So, again, 90 degree angle, foot, knee, hip, foam roller goes in between the knees. We're gonna push our low back so it's flat to the floor, we're gonna squeeze inward, so think a doctor, think glutes. From here, hands across the chest, we're going to squeeze the knees together and visualize the X on the thigh turning in as the heel comes out. Make it a little bit difficult. I keep it internally rotated. Extend the knee. Pull the knee back down. Still in an internal rotation. Back in. Internally rotate. Keep the low back flat on the floor. Extend the knee. Keep the internal rotation angle as you pull back down. And in. I'm working to hold a five second hold for five reps for three to five sets. The keys I look out for here is turning out through the foot. As you can see, I still essentially internally rotate, but I feel nothing in my hip. Turn out with the heel and foot square. I actually think about pushing out with the heel. If you're not feeling it in the likes of, you know, your, your hip flexor, your adductor, it means that you're not working hard enough or you don't understand the movement. Remember it's the X on the thigh turning in and turning out. This should be quite nasty, you know, it should feel crampy, you know, shaky, you know, a bit lightheaded. If you're feeling any pain, remember, stop the move, it's not for you. No matter how beneficial mobility moves are, if you're working through pain, you're sending the wrong signal between the body part and the brain. And essentially the body will just keep getting tighter after every session rather than if you get through a session pain free, it goes, we weren't, we're not in any danger, that session was good, you know, we'll relax a little bit, we don't need to protect ourselves as much, and you keep accumulating this pain free movement, this pain free working, and eventually this tightness, the body doesn't think it's necessary anymore, it doesn't think it's in danger anymore, so it in turn relaxes, and that's what you call mobility gains. Thank you.